Somebody asked me a question on Twitter the other day, and it was about training with a knee injury. You know, if you have a bad knee injury, how can you continue to train? And I hate the answer I'm going to give. And that is that it's really tough to train with a knee injury. If you've got a badly banged up knee, you're really best off taking time off, letting that thing heal, doing all your rehab, surgery if you need to, and letting it get back to normal. Now, I have had friends who've had their ACLs torn, and they continued training for a while. They were wearing those big Robocop knee braces, right? They're custom made, probably a couple thousand dollars each. It's not just like your neoprene wrap that you can get at the drugstore. No, it, this is like a, a carbon fiber thing that clamps onto the thigh, that clamps onto the knee, that's got big ass hinges. And you know, it's not always very pleasant for you to train with that guy because he's got this big metal knee that's always getting banged into you. That is a way that you can continue to train if you have partners who are willing to train with you. But that's, you know, you're still taking a risk. You are still taking a risk. Also, if your knee is somewhat banged up, you might be better off training on the bottom. If you're standing, if, if you're kneeling, you know, if you're kneeling, there's a lot, ton of pressure on your knee. If you're standing, you could always go over badly. There could be some kind of sweep. Some guy could put some crazy De La Hiva guard on you that just cranks your knee sideways. You can re-injure it. You're actually probably safer off on the bottom. The guards that are probably safer, butterfly guard, half guard. We got to keep in mind that Gordo, the guy from Gracie Baja who pretty much created the modern half guard. The reason he created the modern half guard is because he had a knee injury. I think it was a torn ACL. Could be wrong about that. He certainly had a knee injury and he found that he couldn't put the person into a fully closed guard. He couldn't use most of the open guards. So he started going just with one leg, otherwise known as the half guard and he developed his half guard to a really high level. So that, you know, if you're willing to take the risk, if you're willing to take the chance, you know, try going with a knee brace, try working the half guard, maybe depending on the kind of injury, try working your butterfly guard. Basically, you wanna avoid sudden shock loading. So if you're gonna be training with this, do not train with big guys who move dynamically and all of a sudden change directions. Don't move with brand new beginners, because you never know what brand new beginners are gonna do. They might decide all of a sudden to do a somersault. They might all, you know, your foot's caught in their lapel and they're gonna do a pirouette. You don't wanna train with a beginner. You wanna train with sane people. Usually those are smaller people. Uh, usually those are more experienced people and you might be able to train around it. Now, if it's a fully torn knee, uh, we're gonna assume torn ACL. There is an article that's been really useful to a lot of people on my site, grapplearts.com slash ACL should get you there. This was not put together by me because I have, knock on wood, not torn my ACL yet, but it was written by a guy who tore his ACL and then did a deep dive into all the research and about the recovery process. So basically if you tear your ACL, you're gonna be out completely for six months. You're gonna be doing some rehab, you're gonna be doing some walking, you know, you're not going to be training again hard for six months. You're probably not going to be going full speed for a year. It's just like coming back from any other kind of injury, right? You, you do your initial recovery, you do your surgery, you do your rehab, you get better. Then you start doing, you know, you start pinging to see, well, if I just do some drilling, does that hurt? Oh my God, that really hurts. All right, I should lay off the drilling for now. Come back a month later. All right, I can drill. Should I spar? Well... No. And eventually, down the road, after your knee has taken a few hits again, it's recovered, now it's taken a few hits, it got twisted a little bit, it got banged up a little bit, and you're okay because you've done all your rehab, then you'll finally have confidence in that body part again. The good news is that knee surgery is getting better. The bad news is it's a really tough body part to train around when you're doing jiu-jitsu. So if you are suffering from a knee injury, my heart goes out to you. I'm sorry, try and stay active by watching as much jiu-jitsu footage as you can. Try and not get completely out of shape by doing some weight training, by doing some cardio, and try and stay ready for that return to the mats six months down the road, eight months down the road, a year down the road. The sport will still be there for you when you get back to it.